Virgo. Welcome to your reading. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Um, someone wants to come out of isolation and talk. Okay. You are in pursuit of your happiness, okay? You're just doing what you makes what makes you happy. You're trying to see things from a very different point of view. You're trying to be more optimistic about this relationship, this connection. Or probably you're just, you know, wanting to do what makes you happy. You know, you don't want to surround yourself with any kind of drama, chaos, negativity. Page of Cups is how this person sees themselves. So they see themselves as wanting to um, communicate with you. Okay, this person could be wanting to apologize to you or there's just some kind of emotional communication that wants to come in from their side. Uh, they definitely see you as a strong soulmate to inflame connection that there's been a fallout in. You know, they view this connection as something where there was once a strong soul connection. But there's been a tough time that you guys are going through. But right now there's been a fallout here. You, you view this person as someone where you have an unfinished business with, okay? So you definitely see that something's not finished between you guys, either there's a cycle, a karmic cycle or something, there's a negative pattern that's repeating itself over and over again. But you do view this as something where things are just stuck and stagnant and it's just not moving forward. While this is happening is the Eight of Wands, so there's definitely here someone that this person wants to communicate with you, okay? They want to move things forward quickly, but they want a lot of back and forth communication with a lot of heat, a lot of intensity. You could be living with a distance with this person, or this could be someone, you know, who you're chatting with online, on social media. Uh, the action you plan on taking is you're giving up on this relationship is what I'm getting, okay? With the Seven of Wands in reverse here. Yeah, why? Because you just feel something's unfinished, right? Well, you get it, right? Um... So, so yeah, I think you're giving up. You're no longer fighting for this connection because you were wanting to fight for this for a very long time here, but you're, you're no longer doing it, no longer being protective about this. This person, on the other hand, here in their actions, they're losing hope and faith that things will work out. And because of which, um, King of Wands in reverse here, they're losing the confidence or they don't have the confidence or they don't have, um, they're not being decisive about taking action towards you, okay? They're still not doing what they are supposed to do. They're still not taking the lead out here. Let's see. Um, mm, tell me more about the Four of Swords in reverse. What's this Four of Swords in reverse? Page of Swords River. This person is wanting to, you know, like, it's like they're ignoring this entire topic, you know, or they're ignoring a conversation with you, although they're stressing, stressing about it, they're restless about it, they're watching you from a distance, but I think they're waiting for the right time to come towards you because they want to with the Page of Cups. They want to. This person could be someone who does not like to go to the root of the issue, okay? So they're just watching you and just trying to get more information, a lot of research on their side about what they want to do, what they shouldn't do, how they can approach it, but there's no action from their side. I mean, more about the page of swords in reverse. Six of wands, yeah, because something wasn't a success in the past. They're lacking their confidence, okay? They feel neglected, they feel avoided by you, unappreciated probably. Or this is someone, one of you who you wanted public recognition, okay? One of you wanted to move things forward, wanting something more committed, but that wasn't successful, okay? It was because someone did not want to move things forward or someone did not want something more solid, committed. But I feel that there was a, a failure in the past, something, you, things just didn't work out between you guys because of which this person's being very, very cautious about their approach towards you. Queen of Wands in reverse. All right, I'll take it. This is how they view you, okay? They see you as someone who's not interested, no longer interested in them, no longer pursuing them, no longer chasing them, no longer taking action. You've just lost that mojo, you know? You've lost that spark or um, whatever. But uh, they see you as someone who's just not um, looking into their direction. You don't seem to give them the attention that they want here. You've just completely withdrawn your energy from them. Um, Let's see, uh, why is the Page of Cups here? 
Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, you're dealing with someone who's not like, I'm, I'm not seeing this as a player. Yes, of course, readers are very quick, quick enough to say this is a player. This is someone who has player-like tendencies, but that's only because they don't commit, okay? They run away from commitment. That's one of the reasons why they're known as that player. But I feel this is someone here who's just lacking the effort. They're not putting in the work. They know they need to do a certain way or a certain approach, you know, to come towards you. But I think this is someone here who's just being very laid back. They're waiting for things to unfold without taking action. It's like they'll wait for things to happen and then they'll come ahead and do something about it. They're just trying to get your attention right now, okay? But they're being very, they're not being proactive right now. So it's in the emotions with the Page of Cups. They want you, they have a lot of love for you. But when it comes to pursuing you is when they're holding back. Why? Because they feel you're holding back. Um, tell me about the lovers in reverse. This is how they view this connection. Why is the lovers in reverse? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They see you as someone who's given up on this connection. You could have waited forever for things to come into fruition. Waiting for things to, you know, see the results, you know, or waiting for things to get into a more better place, a more stable place to get something more committed. But you're just giving up, okay? Because it's been a long road here. You waited and you are lacking patience now. You're no longer wanting to hold on to this. One more card. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here? temperance they're hoping for a reconciliation with you they are but they're but they're thinking that you're just taking your time or something's just not a big deal for you anymore probably this is something that really mattered to you once upon a time but it's not mattering to you anymore and you're just like whatever let it go let it flow and uh, if it's meant to be it's meant to be that's how they see you like not really doing anything about this like it's just like like honestly it doesn't matter to you anymore bold and reverse is how you see them why why is the world in reverse here? This is how you view them. Yeah, you laid down a situation that was becoming more of a burden and stress to you, you know. It was very overwhelming. You dropped the load, you dropped the burden. Because this is someone who was bringing a lot of turmoil and stress into your life. Yeah, and you're letting that stress go. This situation was causing just too much work and you had your own responsibilities probably. Okay, but you were just, you just had to carry it all and do it all on your own, which exhausted you and overburdened you, okay? And it was just something very difficult to deal with, and that's why you let this situation go. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Wanted to come out. So yeah, you could view them as someone who probably was very focused on their career, their money, their goals. You could be focusing, you could see them as someone who wanted to be single. But yes, you do see them as someone who's now wanting to come towards you and ready to leave that singlehood and wanting to come towards you with a commitment or a relationship. What's the eight of wands here? This is why all this is happening. Someone wants to move forward or communicate or this is just you wanting to release and move forward quickly. What's the eight of wands here? What's the eight of wands here? Yeah, someone wants to get out of their head. Could be you. Could be you, Virgo. You want to get out of your head, okay? This is just creating too much turmoil in your head, okay? You want to release the worry, the depression, the burden, and you just want to sleep better, okay? You want to release this worry. This person puts you in a lot of worry, and I think you're in a hurry to release this person and move forward. You're manifesting something that you want, and what you're manifesting is your happiness. And if this is not this person that your happiness is with, or they're not supposed to give, or they're not going to give it to you, you're pretty much okay to move on, okay? Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is this here? This person causes a lot of anxiety. You're overthinking and overanalyzing and you want to stop the pain. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Yeah, you want to end things here. Or you want things to end or you want a huge transformation, okay? But because this is not happening, it's just getting into your head, okay? It's in, you're in your head and you just want to get rid of this. And you want to put an end to this with the death here. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse. There could be a lack of clarity between you guys. There could be a lot of confusion, miscommunication, whatever. But someone's not making a, you know, not taking a judgment call or someone's just not communicating the truth. Determined to hold back communication and you just feel the need to put things to an end. Seven of Wands in reverse is your action. Why? Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse your action? I'm talking so slow because there were some subscribers who said that I was talking too fast. All right, so I'm just going to try and talk a little more slower. It's just that when the messages get downloaded, I can't stop. It's just like a flow, you know, so I can't help it. But I'll try. Seven of Wands in reverse. Why is this here? 
Ja, ich habe gab's nicht mehr was. Give me one more card. But the seven of wands in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. Give me one more card here. Oh, <laughs> you want a reconciliation, right? You want a reconciliation. You can't move on from this person, Virgo. <sighs> you can't move on from them. You want to return back to them or you want them to return back to you. However, it could be, I'm now I'm getting two ways, okay? The seven of wands, this can go many ways, okay? But let's see this. Either you don't want to fight for this anymore. You're giving up on the situation, but at the same time, you're too emotionally invested into this connection and you're hoping and wanting this reconciliation. Or You want this person to come back to you, you want them to let their guards down, okay? But again, regardless, this way or that way, you want a reconciliation, okay? Because you're too invested into this relationship. You can't let this go, yeah? You want to be with them. Seven of Wands and Rivers can also be someone who needs to get their guards down and is wanting to be vulnerable finally, okay? Because you could be having this defensive uh, guard up against them, okay? You probably want a huge change out here, okay? You want something to change drastically. What's the star in reverse here? Why is the star in reverse? They're losing hope and faith. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're losing hope and faith because you're not opening up to them. You're being emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative, cold, detached, focused on yourself, making yourself a priority for a change instead of them or this relationship. And that's why they feel you're not giving them the love that they've got all this while, right? And now they just feel you pull back your energies. Queen of Cups in reverse, why? This could be them who's emotionally shut off too. Three of Swords in reverse, okay? We have the King of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have a two pair situation here. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, but they're both in reverse. You're both right now, the love is there, okay? But you're both doing your own thing right now, is what I'm getting. No and no one, none of you are wanting to focus together and work this relationship out. I think you're both doing your that inner work or both focused on your own individual goals than having a collective goal or wanting to come together and make this a success. That's what's happening here. Because we have two best situations out here, okay? But they're, they're all in the reverse. Not even one is upright. All in the reverse. This person is still wanting to attempt to make, uh, wanting to make an attempt towards you and wanting to come towards you, okay? And all you give a shit about is the sun and that's what you want. You just want clarity. You are probably illuminated about some facts. What's the sun here? Why is this on Virgo's mind? What's the sun here? Magician. Yeah, you could be manifesting a brand new opportunity with this person here, okay? With the two of wands here, I feel at the bottom of the deck, uh, you have a choice. You're at a crossroads, Virgo. You can either choose to get this, get back to this person and want a reconciliation, or you can choose a completely new path which will change your life, which has nothing to do with this connection or this person, okay? You're at a crossroads here. You still need to make a decision, or you could be waiting for them to make a decision here. But all you want is happiness. Okay, you want growth expansion with this person. You're probably silently manifesting them. But the problem here is you're dealing with someone who's one moment they want to express their love to you, the next moment they're holding back from you. So that's just driving you nuts. Yeah, see, that's why the ten of wands in reverse here, right? You could have cut them up abruptly, or they could have cut you off abruptly, okay? But things are just on hold right now between you guys. This person wants to heal this, okay? They want to heal this connection. They want to come around. They want a reconciliation too. You want a reconciliation too. But it's just that they're being emotionally very shut off right now. You could be dealing with someone who's very, very sensitive, you know, very emotionally sensitive. Tell me more about this, more about this person. I mean, what do they feel for Virgo? What does this person feel for Virgo? What does this person feel for Virgo? Two of Swords. Yeah, they feel they're at a crossroads right now. They're in this land of indecision. They don't know what to do. They don't know what's right, what's wrong. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Okay, both the decisions that they need to make, right? None of them look good to them. And they're just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Give me one more card. But that's a lot of denial. Okay, they're wearing a blindfold, acting 
or choosing not to make a decision because they just feel they can't. But actually they can if they remove the blindfold and see things for what they are. They need to face their fears. Give me one more card for how this person feels for Virgo. Nine of Wands. They could feel that you are very guarded, okay? That's why the Seven of Wands in reverse is showing up on your side. This person could feel that you have a lot of trust issues with them. They see you as someone who's, you know, fed up and tired of making this work out with them. But um, definitely someone here, you know, who is um, on guard and afraid to get hurt. You don't want to be vulnerable towards them or they don't want to be vulnerable towards you. But they do see you as someone who's got insecurities or who's very insecure. They could also be insecure, okay? You know how it goes, right? Both. It can be both. It can be one of you, both of you, however. All right. Uh, tell me more about the King of Wands in reverse here. Why is this here? Why is this here? Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? Yeah, King of Wands in reverse with a higher fit in reverse here. Someone is still not ready to commit. Someone is stuck in their own mindset, their belief system, okay? Something seems to out of, box, out of the box to this person here, okay? Or this person and you, you guys are just not on the same page. And uh, this person is probably someone who does not like to be tied down to. Or someone just needs to leave another relationship. What's the Hierophant and Reverse and the King of Wands in the house? See, you guys have tried to work out things in the past, right? That's why Six of Wands in Reverse. It didn't work out in the past here. What's what's the king of wands in reverse and the hierophant in reverse? Five of swords in reverse, okay. So this person with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck, they're definitely thinking of you as someone they want long term with, okay? They do. They want this long term with you. But for right now, as the outcome here, Either they see you as someone who's shut off. The love is there on both the sides. Okay, they're just being very cold right now. They're just putting up a charade. That's it. They're just being very cold. They, you both want the same thing. Three of cups, three of swords in reverse. You both want to reconcile. You both want to get back to each other. You're so invested. You also don't want to um, walk away from this. Okay? It's just that they're losing hope right now. And that's one of the reasons why they won't take action in the near future or as the outcome here. I think you're walking away, okay? Because you're fed up and tired of trying to make this work out with this person. Um, the five of swords in reverse is also someone here who's wanting to let go of their sabotaging ways and wanting to come towards you. But I don't see them taking action here. Maybe they're, they're you know what? Okay, so you know what I'm getting here with the five of swords in reverse here. So I feel that there is going to be a reconciliation between you guys, okay? But keep in mind, this is not like a full-blown reconciliation. I get more like a conversation reconciliation, okay? Where someone's done with their games, they're done with their trust issues, they're dropping their guard, they're done with playing games, you know? And they're wanting to be very honest and very real with their, with their feelings. You know, they're no longer pushing you away due to fear is what I'm getting. And, uh, but again, still somewhere, somehow with a higher front and reverse here, there is still that lack of commitment, okay? They're still going to take some time before you guys are going to be on the same page here. Because this is not how they look. There's a difference in how you see a connection and how they see this connection here. And that's why they're not still taking the lead role in this relationship, okay? Um, all right, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.